yesterday, 20 of 24 civil lawsuits against Watson have been settled. That according to Tony Busby, who's the lawyer representing the women, which is, which is a weird a weird thing to do, um, you know, for somebody who, who would, you know, has been adamant they're innocent. Like, I, I just, What's the clearest name? I just, it's a weird thing to do. Now, we're not going to know what these, uh, what these numbers are going to be because everything is confidential. Uh, but I, my guess, just best guess here, it's probably more than the $100,000 that he offered initially. Actually, what would about a year ago when all this stuff started coming out? Uh, my my guess would be, uh, and who knows if we ever find out what the actual numbers are, but that uh, Deshaun Watson had to pay significantly more than that hundred thousand dollars that was offered initially. That would be my guess. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Yeah. Right? Um, my uh, w- w- one of my two daughters. Um, I'm not sure which one because neither one fessed up for it, to it. But they left a floater the other day, and oh, I was like, wow. well, "So Jesus. I'm trying to teach them the well, at least lesson." It was floating. Oh exactly. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to teach healthy. them the lesson of like, hey, one of you has to flush. Okay, I don't know who did this, but who did it? And both of them looked at me. They did the zipper across their lips. They they turned the key and they threw it away. And I was like, "Oh, okay." So neither wants to say anything about the other. Like, I'm never going to find out who did this at this point. <laughs> oh and, and I'm just trying to teach it like a, like a fatherly lesson at this at, at, at this moment. But I think they taught you a lesson, Q. <laughs> they did. Yeah. I mean, any fatherly you advice? Stick together. You got to stick together, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, at, sure least you got, at least you got little ones doing that. Because when that happens in my house, it's got a leather jacket on it and, and, and hood. <laughs> that bad boy is dressed to the T when you see them joints and they, they were left it's, there. There's corn in it. There's right. all kinds like, of stuff. Bleh. Like, what kind of outfit is this in my toilet? Mm. I, I just don't even know. I just oh, don't man. even know. Oh. What's, uh, what's the price tag for that leather jacket? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, man. I was not I expecting mean, the, that angle. Uh, yeah, the, 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 rhinestones, the, 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 all kinds of stuff. The moral to the story is I, I just – I don't – I don't I, He's been adamant the whole time about clearing his name. Rusty Harden's been adamant that, he, that Deshaun Watts did nothing wrong. We, we know the court of public opinion, and, and we probably shouldn't immediately jump to, well, how do we know he did anything wrong? Just because he settled. You know, maybe he just wants to get on the field sooner rather than later. But now this really eliminates, at least in those 20 cases, the chance for us to really find out, you know, more information from all of this. And, and hopefully... At the end of the day, if, if what allegedly happened happened, you hope that these women feel at least at peace with whatever civil agreement they've come to. But, it, I mean, obviously people are going to always look at him and say, clearly he did something wrong here. Clearly he just wants to move on at this point and get back to trying to just play football. Can I give you guys my first take on it when I saw it without getting, like, judged? Yeah. Y'all want me to be honest about it? Uh, yeah. No, lie, please. Lie or be honest? Which be one? honest. Be honest, of course. A uh, 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 be honest yeah. day? All yeah. right. So I felt like the first the first ones that were handled were handleable or, or settle, settleable cases. Now you know who's really been violated. That was my first take. Like the ones that's like, okay, something happened. Maybe it happened to a certain degree whatever, you felt a certain type of way. But these last four, to me, the way it hit me was those are the four. Those are the dicey Th- ones. Those are the four. Yeah. Those are the four. Um, I mean, well, I, I don't – not that nothing happened with the others, but there's more yeah, going saying, on. Like I said, I don't know – again, this was just my take, yeah. right? This was just how it hit me. It's like, huh. Like he's representing all of these people, right? If you're representing all of these people, then what makes those four different from the 20? Yeah. You dig? Yeah. So, so to me, that says there's something more there with those. Those do, four are the four. Do, do we know, though, if those four are the newer of the four? I, I, I'm no, not I sure. Don't know. What, I don't one know. Of them, I don't know. That was just what kind of came and out. You know, again, my, that was like my first impression. One of them is Ashley Solis, who was the one, uh, one of the two that was featured on uh, HBO's, uh, you know, uh, Real, Real sports, sports that they did on yeah. it. Um, she's one of the two. And Tony Busby even alluded to that, saying, you know, she's one of the heroes. Uh, she wants to continue to pursue with this. Uh, there's still more going on. So I don't know if that means that – 
they weren't satisfied with the number that was being thrown out or she really feels like uh, I, this whole thing it's it's crippled my business um you know it's it's ruined uh you know an aspect of my life or ruined my life i'm not done pursuing whatever we need to pursue um the other three i don't i, I don't know any more information on it but that was one of the things that tony busby pointed out uh, yesterday in his statement so i, I just why now like, like, Whoa. was there a conversation? Uh, who, who talked to him? Like, why now was yeah, that a the, decision the, to get the, it done? Not, not so much now, but the motivation behind yeah. it. Like, the now is pretty clear. The, the, the now, I think, is it's it's whoever got to him because he, this is this couldn't have been Deshaun Watson's choice. He's been adamant for the longest time. This thing's probably drug on to the point where I mean, we speculated if like Rusty Harden was trying to throw this thing because he doesn't want his <laughs> reputation thrown in like a, a civil trial that he probably won't win. I mean, it got, it got to that point with the things that Rusty Harden said and, and the things that Deshaun Watson really, or I guess, I guess I should say had a hard time defending. So was it the NFL? You know, was it again, not necessarily Roger Goodell, but was it someone within the NFL that said, if you settle now, we, we will be able to come out and, and give you a swifter punishment, or then you'll be able to appeal whatever decision we make. And I know Brian McCarthy, who's the NFL spokesperson, said that's not the case. This has no impact on it. Please. Why should we believe anything the NFL has to say on this matter? I mean, we, we really don't. Not only has, has things not been transparent in regards to Deshaun Watson and what's happened with any of the 20 – settlements now but nothing's been we haven't nothing's been transparent with the nfl on that side of things Mm -hmm. it's not like they've been they haven't been you know forthcoming with all the information they've gathered or how they feel about or what direction they're going so we're not going to get any clarity from that side of things but i I do wonder if it was motivated to a degree uh maybe at at some point just the court of public opinion got to them and they all sat down and said, this is only going to get worse yeah. if we don't settle these now. I just wonder how many more are left out there. See, that's the, the wild card is we've now been put on notice that any given point in time, somebody else could pop up. Yeah, because he will settle. He will, he will pay you if it, if it happened. Oh, there you go. Somebody else going to pop up. And, that, and, and if those somebody else's pop up, you have no idea of how to measure or how to weigh because you only know so much. There's only so much limited information in terms of what what the situations were. But but with that being said, there, I think there's enough information that has surfaced that is very damning against Deshaun Watson and and, and at the least his behavior during the course of these massage therapy uh, sessions. So to me, I, I feel like that's the biggest. That's probably the biggest. Uh, trepidation, probably the biggest reason to, to have pause if I'm the NFL and saying that we got to at least suspend him for a year just to see if anybody else is going to pop up. He's look, he, he's got a, a fetish or an issue. That's clear. Uh, just with the number of the number of times he's got to go get whatever done to him that he needs to get done through all of this. And so like, you know, there's no there. There is a chance that even after all of this, something else happens. Which which he's an idiot if 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 after all of this he continues to go down this road. But but he gets what he's got coming to him. I'm just wondering, does the does the NFL? And I I don't know if this is if it's uh, legality or anything like that. Is the NFL allowed to to pull a player aside or his representatives and say, hey, here's what we're thinking. But if you settle now we're willing to work with you on the ne- on the amount of punishment you're going to receive. Are they allowed what, to do that? What says they can? Yeah. Uh, they, I, they make the rules. There, there's no governing body over yeah. how they're going to go about punishing this. Because it just seemed really abrupt how all of a sudden this just comes up. Because he just spoke again last week. And, and we've been hearing more from these lawyers. Well, and then all of a the sudden first time on, the on NFL, a Tuesday. But it's the first time the NFL has even put out there in the media for consumption – how how uh, seemingly how harsh the penalty against him is, is looking to be yeah and you don't know how how much that compromise like and and the inner workings of what Deshaun's got going on they know how much this compromises him by the NFL doing that and putting that out there and now you know you better hurry up and try to get this done like do you think it was, do you think it could have been the browns i mean because yeah. the other Ooh, thing is totally with, with, with this continuing to move forward 
there had to have been a thought that Cleveland maybe knowingly or unknowingly signed up for something that as the, the four more you know, accusations came out or lawsuits came out that maybe they were unaware of, even though they said they did all their due diligence. I hard to believe that. Maybe it was Kevin Stefanski. Maybe he sat him down and had a talk with him. Because Kevin Stefanski is the one that seems like he's just along for the ride. Yeah. But maybe it was someone from Cleveland either within the front office, Jimmy Haslam, Kevin Stefanski, that just sat him down and said, look, we, we'd love to get clarity in this whole situation. Whether it's if you're gone for the year or not, but we need that as your team that invested into you, that traded for you, that gave you the biggest contract in NFL history. We need clarity. And until you settle this and move forward, no one's going to get that. And, so and, go settle what you can, and then and we'll work. You know, we'll work with you on the rest. It's like we talked about yesterday. Training camp's a month away, and they have no, to your point, clarity on what the situation is at quarterback. And so it would not surprise me if the Browns said, "Hey, you weren't on the up and up with us. There was more out there. We're willing to stick by you, but we, you guys got to be aggressive in, in what you need to do." I, I just, man, this is. Uh, so, how? Wh- when do you guys think we're going to get a punishment from the NFL? What, what's your Ooh. best? guess on a timeline because it feels a better question this week yeah a much better question this week well you know what's today hump day yeah it's wednesday right (laughs) i mean can i say (laughs) like within the next nine days like by next friday we've got something Mm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be shocked if it wasn't this Friday. Yeah, mm. no, I, just I what agree. they do. The, the little news dump they do. So, you know? so we're doing an an over of a week oh, over unders on uh, on Deshaun. So, Watson's do you want to say a week? Suspension. I mean, I, I I would say okay. Let's go a week. So this what time, saying? this over time under. next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll take the under. Yeah, I don't think they they don't like doing news dumps on Hump Day. No, <laughs> especially not with this topic. I'm gonna take the over. <laughs> yeah, you I think, think it's next I Friday. Think it's no, I think it's going to take a little longer. Just because you want to keep talking about this. No, I just think that there's some, you know, to be honest with you, now that we have new cases, I think that the new cases have to call for a more assertive effort, maybe so to so to, so to think or, or to say. There's going to have to be a more of a, an assertive effort to to figure out with Deshaun, like almost like what we were saying about what the Browns and how they're approaching the Browns. I think the NFL has to approach Deshaun Watson in the same way and say the same things. Like, listen, three more people or four more people have come forward. Deshaun, we're going to base this decision off of your honesty, bro. Yeah. If you if you do us dirty here right now, if you do us dirty when we when we throw this this life preserver out to you, we're going to spank you for real. Like, you're going to get spanked. If you think you're getting spanked now, you're going to get spanked for real. Tell us yeah. how yeah. many more are left. And then we can move on from there. But they're going to have to assert themselves because otherwise you are you are a sitting duck at the mercy of whoever else is next to come forward on this guy and what he may or may not have done to them. Is there a chance that the number's so high he doesn't even know? Like the the I amount mean, of yes. I mean, think it, it would about have it. To be. I, I, it I would just have th- to that, be. that's what I, that's where I look at it and go. I, I wonder if he can honestly. Maybe by now he, he, he better can go try back and trace it. Yeah, back, he better man. try. He better try for for the say. I mean, look, look here. You you're not you're you're still culpable, even if you don't know the law. Yeah. So it, whether he remembers or not, Boy, you I are still that. culpable. So you better try to remember. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, Lavar. Imagine sitting down with him and sitting across the table. And he's and like, like, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, like, 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 how many more could there be? Deshaun? That's like asking how many 20, partners I've had. 40? I, I don't know. So, so in a way, he's being truthful. He really doesn't know. <laughs> oh, so well, there. That, is that the first time? 